hey guys what's up so in this tutorial what we are going to do is like we are we will be discussing what is Heroku tool belt and whether it is important to have for you or not okay so Heroku Heroku is kind of uh, it provides you the facility to deploy your application on cloud like uh, I develop in Ruby on Rails mostly and uh, I have so many uh, applications which I have deployed on Heroku so I mean you can go for engine yard you can go for Amazon EC2 so Heroku is actually a very nice place to deploy your application it's very easy uh, I mean nothing can be simpler than that you can just like write one command and everything will be done BAM so it's not like Amazon EC2 where you have to install your database you have to configure it then you will have to kind of manage your servers whether you have to scale up or scale down and then suppose something bad happens then you have to roll back then you'll have to do so many things manually in case of Heroku it's like only there are a few commands and if you know them then things are BAM that they are very simple you just try in one command and your application will be rolled back to the previous version you just write one command and your application will be deployed so Heroku is very kind of um, easy tool and you can get it started with even with your uh, free trial okay so if I mean I would really recommend you to try out Heroku for deploying your applications now if you have deployed your applications on Heroku then this Heroku toolbit is something that you must have so how does Heroku toolbit works so depending on your system you will install Heroku tool belt and then you will go to the terminal and you will write something like Heroku login it will ask for your username and password and then you will kind of um, once I mean once you are logged in then you can access your applications you can scale up scale down your applications you can roll back you can deploy your applications you can go to the bash of your application you can access the database of your application you can just look at the variables you can set variables you can do a lot of things we will look at them like what you can do once you are logged into the system after installing Heroku tool built so I mean the bottom line is if you have your applications deployed on Heroku then you must have this thing I mean there is no doubt about that so this is Heroku tool belt so in our next videos we will see like what are the commands that we can run to um, I mean what are the commands that are available once you have installed Heroku tool belt so this is a must-have thing and in the next video we will see like I will just go through my application and I will show you like what you can do with Heroku tool belt so it will provide you a vast number of commands but we will be interested into only a few of them to just help you get it started okay so definitely give it a try Heroku I'm actually not sponsoring actually I have been very happy using Heroku for past two years that why I am recommending I have also used Amazon EC2 that is also very good but if you are like me only a few guys team then this is the way to go because you will not have to have a headache about the deployment servers operations and those things you'll be able to focus on your coding and Heroku will take care of rest of the things so try out Heroku and if you deploy application on your Heroku then just install this thing Heroku tool belt and in next video we will see what we can do with Heroku tool belt thank you bye bye